Hey guys, Amy Jo here with DCTC, welcoming you back for another episode. Today we are going to be checking out the brand new Magical Designs Palace from Play-Doh. This playset features Aurora. It looks like it has lots of fun things to do, so let's open it up and get started. There's really just three main sections that you will put together to get the playset ready to play with. We'll snap that into the base. Let's see, fit these two pieces together. And snap those into place. Now let's take a look at everything else that comes with the playset. Like I said, our playset came with Princess Aurora. And there are, I think there's two. I know there's at least two other princesses that you can buy to go with this, but I'm not sure which ones they are. So this is how her dress works. So there are two different bases, this light pink one and this dark pink one. And you can attach the top of Princess Aurora to those and then place her here, and then that will press the Play-Doh through to make her dresses look like they change. I think, yep. So we'll load Play-Doh in there, press that through, and the Play-Doh pieces will come through here. So that's how Princess Aurora works. There's also lots of molds on this kit, so I wanted to show you this before I snap this on. This is one of the little balconies on the castle. And as you can see, there's lots of different molds and you can actually decorate this with Play-Doh. See all of these different molds? So we can fill those up with Play-Doh to decorate our palace. Look at the back. This one looks like a little bird, and this is the spinning wheel. Remember, this is what Aurora touched to prick her finger in the movie. Um, I don't know if you all recently saw Maleficent, but if you did, I bet you'll remember that part. And there's some more molds here, and here as well. This playset also comes with a birthday cake. And there's lots of little designs. And then this part is where the Play-Doh presses through and presses through these little holes to make birthday candles. So that's cute, that should be fun. And then <laughs> these, these look like ice cream cones, don't they? <laughs> these are little cones that have um, texture on them and you roll them into the Play-Doh to make designs and textures on the Play-Doh like this. All right, and so finally, we have four different colors of Play-Doh. We've got a lavender, a light yellow, and then my favorite part is we have two glittery. We have a pink and sort of a turquoisey blue glittery Play-Doh. So any Play-Doh set that comes with glittery Play-Doh, <laughs> I love, so. All right, let's have some fun. We'll get playing with this now. I thought that we would start by decorating part of the palace. All right, so let's press some lavender Play-Doh into this. You could take all of these pieces out and make your own palace. It would be flat, it wouldn't stand up, but it'd still be kind of neat to do that. I want to see what that looks like actually. I'm trying to pull that back out <laughs> and see. Oh yeah, you could totally use those molds to create your own palace. Okay. So we'll press that back in. Make our palace colorful. what 
that one looks like. Peel off the sides and then what I'm doing is pressing them back in so that you can see the texture. That one's going to be tough there at the top because that is so small. Okay, so now we have a little bit of color on our castle. Next, let's use some of the yellow Play-Doh to check out some of the different molds that come with this playset. This looks like a present, and I do believe that's what it is. Let's press that in a little bit harder and see if we can get some of the additional detail on it. There we go. Sometimes you can use Play-Doh to pick up other pieces of Play-Doh that are sticky. I'll show you that again in just a second. Okay, so there's our little present. It's got a little gift, um, I mean it's got a little bow on it. <laughs> the gift has a little bow on it. Okay, now let's see what else was in this mold. See, this is the bottom of it, so that was the present. Now let's see if we can do this flower right here. that in again. Okay, now let me show you that Play-Doh trick. Okay, so I have a little ball of Play-Doh and I want to get this out and I can't, so I'm going to use this almost like a piece of tape. See how I did that? And there's my little flower. Uh-oh. There we go. I was going to say, it's stuck. It's stuck to the Play-Doh too well. There. Alright, let's try. Now there is a mold under here. And this is definitely a teapot. So I am wondering if maybe one of the other dolls that you can get to go with this playset is Belle. I was thinking that maybe since they put a teapot on here, here we go. It doesn't look like Mrs. Potts, but it would kind of go along with that story. Okay, so there's the little teapot. There's also two other molds under this little bridge, and I'm not sure what those are. Let's see. They're next to the teapot, so maybe they are... I think those are little cookies. Which would make sense if, it, um, if they had the tea and the cookies next to each other. Can you see that? Woo! So little I dropped it. There are also designs on the top of the bridge. So let's press some Play-Doh in to see what those look like. These are cute. These are the little um, fairies that took care of Aurora when she had to go hide away. So here's one of them. These are really cute. Let's see. Look at the next one. I really loved the Maleficent movie. I know that several of you commented and said that you saw it and that you loved it too. I thought it was beautiful. I actually would love to go, <laughs> go see it again. All right, let's see. 
Okay, there's the second fairy. So there's two of them. Now let's look at the third one. I can't remember the name of the fairy that I thought was so cute. She was the, she had sort of the crazy curly hair. I thought they were all really sweet, but one of them was really funny. <laughs> Okay, and so here is our third one. Oops, I might do that one again. Let's see. Sometimes if you get too much Play-Doh and the Play-Doh is too thick, when you're pulling off the excess Play-Doh, it rips other pieces of it especially if they're really tiny details. I'm gonna use my little Play-Doh trick to pull this one out. There we go. Okay, so here is our third fairy. So here are all of the little fairies. <laughs> Now I have turned the playset around so that we can check out some of the molds on the back. This is the spinning wheel. Let's see if we can get a nice clean cutout of this. Uh-oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I pressed it in way too far. Okay, there is the spinning wheel. That is definitely a little bird. I'm gonna press that in again. See if I can make that look a little better. There we go. So there is a little baby bird. There's lots and lots of different molds on this playset. This looks like a basket of flowers. And I'm gonna show you the molds down at the base of the playset as well. So there's another flower. Not sure what that is. Okay, now let's let's go ahead and get started and we will have some fun with Aurora's dress. I took a lot of yellow Play-Doh and pressed it down into Aurora's dress. Now we're gonna place her here, press down on the little bridge. and it makes all these um, like Play-Doh ruffles. Okay. So now we can take her off the base and kind of press these down. See how that pushed the Play-Doh out of all of those little holes? Now we could add more Play-Doh and see if we could make these ruffles longer or we could decorate them. So I don't know, let's try a little more Play-Doh. Let's see. Press it off the edges. We'll try to make these ruffles a little longer. Here we go. Okay, so a little bit. There we go. Now we can make some molds. We can use some of the little molds. There's some bows and hearts and things like that. And we can decorate all of the little ruffles. 
And I took some of the pink glittery Play-Doh to make some little bows. We can decorate Aurora's dress with those. And I also used a mold to make her a little purse to carry. There. Now let's try the second dress base. Just press her down into that one. And this time we will do the dress part with some glittery Play-Doh. Okay, so press the Play-Doh down into the base of the skirt. And, oops, sorry Aurora. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, let's try pressing her down in there again. I think I'm gonna hold her. So that seems to happen every time I do that. All right. Whoops, there we go. Here is what her dress looks like this time. And again, I think, you know, the uh, playset has so many different molds on it, we can go ahead and create some different molds, use some different colors, and decorate her dress. I made some teeny tiny little Play-Doh purple hearts. Oops. And we're just gonna press those around randomly on the dress so we can get them to stick. <laughs> And I made a bow for the front of her dress. There. Okay, so that's her second dress. Now let's check out the birthday cake and see how that works. All right, so we're gonna use our blue glittery Play-Doh for this. And it works the same way that the bottoms of the dress work. So you just press the Play-Doh in the base and clip it in. And here we go. Make some birthday candles. Oh, that's really cool. That looks neat. Oh, there we go. So here is our cake with candles. Aurora, would you like to blow them out? <laughs> Let's look at that a little more closely. Ooh, those are some really tall candles. <laughs> Let's try to make two different colors of candles and see what happens. Press the blue in first and then some of the purple. Okay, that didn't work. I tried to do, let me take this back out. I tried to put the blue just in the middle, but when it got pressed, I think it just popped right over to the sides as well. All right, we'll try that again. Hmm, now I don't have enough Play-Doh in there, so we'll do more of the purple. Oh, that looks neat. And the last thing that I did is added a 
few more um, molds. So I pressed the Play-Doh in like I did at the beginning and then kind of pulled it out and turned it around backwards to fill those in. And that's all I have for this playset today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click on the like button if you would like to see more Play-Doh videos. I certainly enjoy playing with Play-Doh and hope you like watching these videos. And leave me a comment and tell me if you like the first or the second dress. Or maybe your favorite part of the video was the candles coming out of the birthday cake. You have to leave me a comment and let me know, okay? For more Disney Cars, Play-Doh, and Surprise Toy Fun, make sure you check out our channel. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.